It has been two months and a day since the first COVID vaccine was administered in our area, and it was to a frontline healthcare worker. Now that millions of more New Yorkers are eligible for the shots, the demand versus the supply is causing a lot of frustration for all the people waiting their turn. News 4's Pacey Chang shows us how to avoid some of the headaches out there. Refresh. Refresh. Paul Grandinetti thought he hit pay dirt when he snagged a COVID-19 vaccine appointment at the Walgreens near his house. Governor Cuomo says these are the comorbidities for New York State. I am going to a pharmacy in New York State. But a few hours later, he received a call saying he doesn't qualify for the vaccine because he is only 63. That's just disheartening all the way around. And that's because in New York State, pharmacies can only vaccinate people 65 and older. That has been the case for a few weeks now. One way the Cuomo administration is trying to distribute the vaccine equitably. That's 7 million people fighting over 300,000 doses weekly. And now as I scroll, no appointments. For now, Grandinetti and others like him, younger than 65 but with an underlying condition, can only book appointments at large state-run sites like Stony Brook, Jones Beach, or the Javits Center. Currently, only essential workers in the 1B category can be vaccinated at sites like this. But starting this week in both Suffolk and Nassau County, they will start making appointments available for people with comorbidities including sites like this one at Nassau Community College. According to county officials, Nassau's allotment will jump from 2,800 to 5,200 per week to accommodate the crush of the newly eligible. How long do we have to keep banging away at computers to try to get this? Grandinetti was lucky enough to get an appointment at the end of March, but he and others are wondering if it will get easier. When does this end? Because the system is set up the way it is, it's not really going to end until you have increased dosages. In Suffolk County, Paisy Chang, News 4, New York.